Hello, Leo. Welcome back to There's That Tarot. If this is your first time joining me, then I'd like to welcome you to There's That Tarot. Leo, we're going to see what's going on for the month of February 2022. The overall energy, Leo, <clears throat> I feel like a lot of you are at a crossroads in February. I see, a, I see where there's something that you're going to have to be moving on from or that you're thinking about moving on from. I don't know if, it's, if there's a choice there. It's like to move on or to repeat this cycle. So that could be in a relationship. That could be um, ways of, of doing things like for you personally, behavioral patterns um, that we're moving on from, because there's something here that's been it's the, the word that comes to mind is constant. could be a love connection. It could be somebody in your life that you're connected to. Very, very strong connection. But I also feel like it's been very on and off. Because we got four major arcana here. Hangman in the reverse. Hermit in the reverse. Death and the lovers. So I'm seeing either something major that needs to change that keeps happening. I'm, I'm, I'm just getting that it keeps happening. There's something that's been very on and off. And either there needs to be a major change or a major ending. Which is going to cause change anyway. We also have high honor in the reverse. So a lot of... What that gives me is that if, if you've been putting someone on a pedestal, if someone's been putting you on a pedestal, either maybe they're not doing that anymore or you're not putting someone on a pedestal anymore. This could also be connected to career. So let's see what's going on. That's what I'm going to look at first. Some of you could, uh, this number seven could be significant to a lot of you. Some of you could live on 7th Avenue. Um, it could be 1 p.m. wherever you are right now while you're watching this. And I'm picking up some San Francisco vibes. I don't know. Go with it. <laughs> like Tyler says, just go with it. <laughs> but that's, that's what I'm seeing. I feel like there's joy on the other side of something, Leo. And I feel like the way that somebody's thinking about something could be a big hindrance in them getting to that joy. Okay, so watch your thoughts in the month of February. What's going on, Leo? What's going on with your career? Be careful of the company you keep. Okay. got community many of you could work jobs that involve the community okay working on work around a lot of people was community here occupation either what you do is of service to your community some of you could be service members thank you for your service I feel like what a lot of you okay so there could be something that you're working on too though leo either you're already doing this or there could be something that you um whatever you do for work it's a gift to people and you should keep doing that right or there's something that there may, may be an idea that you have that could be of service to the people in your community online whatever it is and I do feel like that is going to be a gift. You have a gift to share. Be careful of people trying to steal your ideas or steal from you. I don't know. Be careful of energy vampires because I feel like whatever it is that you're doing, you, you, you're on to something, Leo. There's fortune here. So be careful of people who want to be close to you uh, for the sake of clout or what they can get from you, um, whatever paperwork. I don't know. This, this is probably going to sound bad, but I don't even know if I should say that. But if there's anybody who gets money from you for any reason, like you have to pay them for something. If y'all are not on the best terms, I feel like y'all finna come up on some gold. Okay, Leo? I feel like y'all are, are about to hit the gold. 
and just be careful of who's tied to you financially or who's coming to you for that okay because we have great fortune here but i feel like it's going to um involve travel perhaps or a change i feel like it may involve travel or a big change there may be someone here We got false person, official person. <clears throat> I just heard, <laughs> be careful of the man in uniform. <laughs> Let's see why is that here. There's something here. I don't know. I feel like there may be a major change for some of you. Because this false person... I feel like a lot of okay i don't know i may be talking to a masculine leo or somebody who's connected to a masculine um i feel like somebody's changing that's what i feel like you know maybe there was a time where i hid who i really was or where i didn't feel like if i expressed who i truly was that it would be accepted or that i would be laughed at or that um I don't know, it's just something outside of the social norm. Feeling like I can't really be myself. It could be because of someone's job, kind of like if you're a creative, but you work for the government. So it's like you have to put on this face every day. This reminds me of the quote, any woman, wait, no woman can change a fool into a wise man, but every woman can change a wise man into a fool. And I feel like for some of you, there may be a connection in your life that could be detrimental to your career and if something doesn't end I feel like something doesn't end could affect your money could affect your, your you and your career okay for some of you if you were worried about a pregnancy I don't see that being an issue And I'm also seeing a possible marriage that doesn't happen, okay? Like, we, we're not worried about marriage right now. I got to get my finances together, something like that. I feel like money could be holding up a wedding as well or could have changed the plan altogether. I don't know. That's not the best news, but we're going to look at the tarot. <clears throat> See what's going on with Leo. What else can you tell me about Leo and career? In the month of February. If you were worried about losing your job, don't worry about it. But there is something here, okay, that we're not letting in. It could be a connection. To someone could be another fire sign Aries Leo or Sagittarius there's something here that we have not allowed to end we keep going back to it there could be this is like a major energy of I keep going back to this now this could be somebody who's who keep coming back to you but there's something toxic here with the devil card that we need to just let it go right there could be some grieving going on, feeling like it's not fair. Somebody could be apologizing. Somebody could be blocking communication. I feel like there's a major loss of hope and faith in this connection. Many of you want this. It's like I want to move forward on this. But a part of me feels like I need to hold back. There could be travel involved here. There's another part of... Okay, distance could be a problem um, for a masculine energy. Mm, finding it hard to open up his heart. You know, it's hard. Now we got the king and the queen of cups in the reverse. 
this could be distance. It could be a long distance relationship, but it, it is the Ten of Cups. But neither one of you are feeling open to this right now. I feel like the king. Oh, okay. The masculine energy may feel like he's found his counterpart. Like, this is my person. The queen. Let's see. Yeah, the masculine energy is feeling like he's missed out on an opportunity with his empress. All four queens combined. This is the woman for me or the feminine or whatever the gender is, right? This queen begs to differ, unfortunately. Or maybe not unfortunately. We don't know the whole story. She may be trying to sneak out of this situation. And the masculine seems to be giving up. Even though he feels like this is a missed opportunity, he seems to be giving up and getting out of this sense of, okay, this couldn't happen. Because this feminine is looking like she wants to just not even get involved anymore. But there's still a lingering sense of uh, unfinished business on her part, too. It's like, I wanted this to be something, but I don't think that you're ready for that. Because she's looking at him like the King of Pentacles in the reverse, which is not the person you want to marry. That's not the person that you would want to go, you know, start planning your life with. Because the King of Pentacles in the reverse could be irresponsible with his finances. He could be non-committal. He could be lazy. And baby, ain't nothing I hate more. So it's like, there must be mutual energy. Because this ain't even about love no more. Somebody is, well, work, excuse me. But, you know, energy is energy. And either you're going to take the shit, okay. Either you're going to take it to work or you're going to bring work home with you. You know what I mean? And I, the goal is to find a way not to do either. <laughs> you know what I mean? Try to find, make your home a place of peace, make your relationship a place of peace, and make your work situation, you know, as peaceful as you can keep that. But these energies pop up in a different category because it's what's on your mind. And your what's on your mind is indicated by how you're feeling. And this is emotional shit. So... I feel like there may be a feminine energy who's like, okay, let's cut, let's get to the real. Okay, there's a problem here. There's an imbalance here. Um, this imbalance could be, I don't know, something that happened between you two in the past that you never truly addressed. You never truly gave the chance to heal. You know what I mean? Sometimes, some, sometimes you get in those relationships and the love and the passion is so strong, but the bad times are also very strong. <laughs> and it gets to that point where it's like, damn, I didn't get to recover from the last thing before this happened. And and now there's this lack of harmony. Like, like my guitar ain't in tune no more with the timbers in the reverse. Somebody's losing patience and it's in, and it's becoming more of a head over heart decision for this feminine energy than anything else. So she may be the one putting, you know, it's like, I'm not attracted to this anymore i'm i'm struggling with this i'm losing my motivation my passion i'm not as turned on anymore there could you know because shit hurts words hurt whatever hurt, happened between you two hurt and she's looking at this as three of pentacles the sun in the reverse like she's kind of side eyeing the situation like do you really have what it takes and it's not like oh you're a bad person or you suck or anything like that but I said this in Cancer's reading, I believe. It's like, do you have the capacity to show up for me right now? If I were hiring you for a job and you have marijuana in your system and for this job you can't have marijuana in your system, I'm sorry, baby, but you're not ready. You're actually the most qualified candidate. But because of that, we do it on jobs. Why don't we do it with people who want to sign up to be in our life affecting our energy for the rest of our life like a love relationship i don't think that this part is going to work for the long term of, of of you and i so then it comes to well what are we willing to do about it are we past the point where somebody's 
willing to do something about it or was somebody already willing to do or doing something about it and another person was dropping the ball because we got the lovers in the reverse how did we get here because it was the four of wands it was so happy like this could have been marriage but now it's like the ten of wands in the reverse seven of cups and somebody's ready to move on it's a lot of confusion here. Somebody may be exploring other options, possibly from their past, or fantasizing about the person, the, fantasizing about reconnecting, but not doing anything about it, not taking any initiative, possibly not. I feel like there's more thinking going on than anything. I feel like the masculine is going to decide to withdraw, you know, there's a big lack of initiation on his part. It's like you can't just wait. He may be also afraid of rejection, but it's like you can't just wait for things to get better. I feel like somebody's like just wanting things to be better, but skipping the steps to make it better, if that makes any sense. Let's go ahead and look at love since it keeps, you know, <laughs> since it keeps coming up. Three shuffles for Leo's love life. This should be interesting. <laughs> Let's see, Leo. Y'all need to know and love for the month of February. The Hierophant. So there is a relationship of significance in your life. And I feel like it is draining either one or the both of you. Okay. Or if somebody's not feeling good enough. Wow, we got the Emperor in the reverse. Aries, Leo, Taurus, Energy. Three major arcana. This is a major relationship in your life. This is a major player for you. This has been, wow. Now the sun card. We got all major arcana here. There's a relationship in your life that has brought you a lot of truth and clarity. I feel like it has brought you a lot of happiness as well. Ooh, the magician. I feel like it also makes you feel, I can't believe how many major arcana are on the table right now. Okay. Let me get another one. So we got the Hierophant, the Sun, and the Magician. And then the Seven of Wands in the reverse, Devil in the reverse. All the ingredients for something wonderful, but nobody's trying. Or maybe this is something we feel like we have to detach from. Why? There's an ending coming. Why does this have to end? There's just a huge lack of initiation here. It's like we can't believe what's in front of our eyes. Maybe this is something that we actually have been waiting on. Or somebody may be waiting because there's still some resentments from the past that they're trying to heal from. But it's like major vibes here. There's the world in the reverse. It's like it's not over, but this feminine energy has some things that she needs to heal from, maybe caused during this relationship. And she's thinking about giving up, even though there's so much potential here. But somebody's drained, somebody's tired, somebody's not wanting to commit, somebody's not wanting to even probably talk. There's love here, but it feels like a missed opportunity. The tower, the lovers. I do feel like somebody's going to come back and try this again. Or perhaps I, f I see a masculine energy who may be apologizing for maybe sneaking away or not opening up his feelings or some other type of deception with the seven of swords and coming back and trying to take this offer two of cups
But I see this possible Aries energy, but somebody here is not moving. I feel like they're thinking about it. The masculine energy may be upset, feeling like he wasted his time trying to get myself together for somebody who's not even happy with it or trying to get myself together with somebody. I don't know, because this queen is not, she's not sold on this king. And I, I do feel like there was, so, there was so long of a time where, you know, maybe this masculine energy lacked accountability, lacked foresight in this relationship, lacked initiation, just a lot of lack, okay? And I feel like somebody with intuition is telling them to just stop, stop, stop. I feel like the two of you will see why. This feels like a freaking stalemate, man. It's a big lack of trust between these two people. So much potential, but no effort or no like real under, I don't know. Let me pull just a little bit more and then I'm out of here. I'm not staying on this too long, y'all. I'm not. reset because I feel like he's still holding on to past conflict or he's holding back from making an offer because he doesn't want no conflict there's some injustice on his side there's an emotional unavailability possibly even manipulation exploring other options things like that there's regret though for not listening to myself for being all talk and no action things like that it's like there is regret about it because it's what messed up this relationship the feminine energy is like you know what me holding on to this emotional attachment i keep taking myself through the same thing over and over and every time we come back it's again and again you know what i'm saying and i'm just ready i'm just ready for something else i'm ready to feel better fool card this is where she's at okay the mutual energy is we ain't even talking to each other right now. We're trying to move on because things just didn't work, right? A lack of give and take. What's the advice for Leo? I feel like either there needs to be a pause or an ending. The masculine energy here was too in and out of this relationship, honey. What did you think was going to happen? Is, is what I keep getting. Knight of Wands in the reverse. King of Wands in the reverse is why the four of wands is in the reverse. This here is never what you want to see when you're talking about being in a relationship with somebody <laughs> or doing anything. I wouldn't start a business with them. I wouldn't be in a relationship with them. I wouldn't even let them hit it. Well, you know. <laughs> you know, but you know. This was the problem. And I feel like somebody's seeing that now. Maybe this is what it is. Take some time. I'm talking to a masculine. Take some time to look at yourself and see why you ain't been able to make shit happen in your life. And it's because of this right here. Well, what you gonna stick with? We need some stick to itness. Okay? Because there's big energy between you and whoever this person is. But I don't think they're a bullshitter, whoever this person is. This feminine energy. They're ready to get up and go get it. Are you? Is whoever masculine energy I'm talking to. It could be the cross watch. It could be Leo. It could be whomever. But I feel like somebody needed to hear this today. It's like, well, thank you for letting me know I'm not crazy. And it's, just, it's not just me. Because I really thought, you know, he probably tried to make it feel like it was me and things like this. And I'm not saying it's, it's 
there's no fault on the feminine energy side. I just see a massive lack of, of action being taken on the masculine energy side. And it, I don't know if it's financial instability or what it is. But I'm tired. All right, Leo. I'm going to leave you with a little message. And we'll see what's going on later in the month. Because I'll be, be here for an hour trying to dissect this one. So, Leo. Mm. And see, this is the thing. Whole bunch of excuses. Whole, bu whole bunch of hot ass air. Okay, somebody was spitting. He who does evil is never short of an excuse. Ain't that it? And that's the King of Wands in reverse and the Knight of Wands in reverse. Always got a reason why they couldn't. Or why they didn't. Or why they can't. Or why they... You know what I mean? Those who live... Oh. Those who live to see a lot... Wait. What does it say? Those who live see a lot. Those who travel see more. That could be physical travel. That could also be traveling outside of the parameters of your mind. You know what I mean? The ways that we limit ourselves. Because I did say in the beginning that there could just be some self-depreciating, self-limiting. Because I really feel like there's a lack of motivation on somebody's part. And that could be due to, you name it, right? There was something else I wanted to say in this reading but I'm, I, I i can't remember it right now i'm gonna save it for another time hopefully it comes back up but leo i'm gonna leave it there please like share and subscribe if this resonated with you if you like a personal reading check the description box for that i hope this helps and i'll see you in the next one ciao